Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Our word for today is ferment. And we're on the back of this. Here's our starter paper where we're tearing off a piece a day for the length of this series and using it somehow, some way. And we're being very um, non-discriminating about what we pull off of here. Um, and this is just a piece of paper I painted. I do think I want to remove the white today, the white edge. So I'm going to do that and remove this straight edge. So now I have that and I have this piece of paper, which is the other side of yesterday's, which I really like. And this almost turns blue because the background almost, but ferment, ferment, I looked this one up too, is to change something. Hold on a second, hold on. My husband's having staffing problems today and yesterday. Uh, and he's on the phone with whatever. I don't know. Anyhow. um, So I have this pile of paper here is what I'll only for what I can work out of. But I don't know. Let's take a gander. Ooh, I like that. This was a pile of paper that I compiled back in February of 2023 to use on something. Oh, here's some purple to use on something. And I have never used it. Well, I didn't use it all. So when I was trying to clean up my room a little bit here, I found it. I'm like, okay, we're just going to keep going. Oh, let's see if any of these work. Here's red. There's a lot of red. And this is just very, like that's Dina Wakely, I think. Very mishmash of stuff. Tissue paper, envelopes, painted book pages, printables. Ooh, that might work. Um, printables again. Stuff that I did on Procreate and printed out. Stuff I accumulated for other journals. Stickers that I painted. <laughs> other people's work that I love. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is really not the right color red. This is like red red and that's like a tomatoey red. And this purple streak. Okay, I did look up, sorry, squirrel, ferment, which means to like change the, uh, change the princi principal pieces of something like ferment is when the dough is I guess growing um and doing its thing a little bit different than rise I think it needs to ferment I know like with fermenting like vegetables it's like it's putting them in a brine or putting them in vinegar like pickling something I think or like wine fermenting wine but on paper we're gonna teach you how to ferment on paper. So we're gonna change the profile of this somehow using this. And now I do know that now I can take the, that piece of paper and to put it into different shapes also. It doesn't have to be this specific piece. So I kind of really like those together. So can I change the profile by putting this piece of paper on here? Which I think is a Robin McClendon. I know it's a Robin McClendon um, printable from her Patreon. But I'm gonna get some black white washi tape.
Okay, this is like a hound's tooth plaid. I don't know why. It just is calling me to put it over these holes, which I'll have to repunch then, but that's okay. Where's the end of this tape? Here it is. You know, we have a big thing here this weekend called the Super Bowl. <laughs> and it's a huge deal for me because it has the San Francisco 49ers playing in it, which is my team because that's where I grew up. And uh, they're... And Debo Samuels, which is one of the players, went to school here at the University of South Carolina. And we watched him while he was in college. It's so funny because he's a dancer and he likes to do a lot of dancing when they come on the field. And that's kind of like how he, his way of getting the team pumped. I'm sure other, I mean, it happens all the time in sports. Anyhow, they showed them yesterday practicing in Las Vegas, which is where the Super Bowl is this year. They were coming out on the field and dancing to one of Taylor Swift's songs. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> and I heard somebody on Instagram, some like football wife, um, not of a player, but you know, a person that watches it all the time. And she, you know, doesn't like it apparently. She goes, there's going to be a concert in Las Vegas this weekend with Taylor Swift and they're going to have a football game. It's <laughs> like, I kind of wonder if she's not going to, although she's in Tokyo according to what I read. Um, and she can get, because of the time change and because she has her own private jet, she can, you know, make it to the game. But they said the parking lot at McLaren, I think it's called McLaren Airport in Las Vegas, is packed with private jets. <laughs> I'm like, we don't know if we have room for one for Taylor Swift, but I'm pretty sure they would make room for her. But I wonder, because I think Usher is a um, halftime entertainment and I think she's had him, he's been on her concerts where she brings people up and has them sing a song with her. And I'm wondering if she doesn't show up for part of the entertainment. But I think that would be, I think that would be really rude to Travis Kelsey. It's like, this is my thing. You know, yes, I'm glad you come. Yes, you revive football for the entire United States. But really and truly... Stay to your side of the field. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know. They said she can make it. If she, I mean, obviously she has people that can get her out of there on time. But coming from like Tokyo, or somewhere in Japan, I flew that route last year. We went to, um, I went to Vietnam and it was like a long flight because we left from LaGuardia or from JFK. It's like, okay, we got to fly all the way across the top of Canada, all the way across the Pacific Ocean, all the way down to Taiwan. And then we transferred a nut to a plane and got to Hanoi, which took us, I think it was 24, 26 hours to get to Hanoi. And then I never remembered what day I was on. That was hard doing my journaling, my um, journal for that trip, because I, I got my days all confused. And I think I ended up with extra days or something, or lost a day or something in there. Okay, now we have our background. Uh oh. Where's my paper? I have lost my, st oh, here it is, my starter. Okay, now, do I tear this green off? Oh, yes, let's do that. I haven't made a, like, amoeba-looking thing in a while. We're going to tear all the green off, and we'll end up with some kind of amoeba, a fermentation bubble. Okay, that has to go over here now, because I still have to eat possibly use these. Okay, I got a little bit of green left here. I 
I was going to cut all my fingernails yesterday. It's a good thing I didn't. A few of them are a little bit way too long. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Now. Do we just let that do the work? I mean, this gorgeous paper from Robin McClendon, paper that I already painted. I don't know why I had to add the black washi tape, but I did. And it's starting to come up. It's going to be problematic. Okay. So do I put this off center? Do I put it in the center? Do I put it that way? Do I put it horizontally? Do I put it in the middle of the purple? Do I put it in the middle? Oh, I like it in the middle of the brown. Ignore the dog and the husband. That's kind of like a blue with white over it. Could I do that across here? I just happened to have some of her stencils. Hold on a second. <clears throat> oh, here's some stamps. Oh, here's the stencil. Okay. I think these are from her doing these kind of things, and then she made a stencil out of it. So I could glue this down and kind of come over it with just this part. I think I'm going to. We shall see. Okay. Now. I want something really big, or do I just like take this little one? Let me take that little one. But I need a white pen, and I don't have a white pen. I wonder. I've never found a good white pen. I've tried them all. I just don't. copy this without the stencil. Although I like this shape right here. I'm going to add some more. This is what ferment looks like in another language. The word ferment. Although this is all made up by Robin McClendon. There really aren't characters. That's what she says. I believe her. Because it's this white on here, it kind of is blending in. I need a little bit of blue. There goes my car. <laughs> We're getting railroad ties delivered today for a flower bed that the railroad ties finally gave up the ghost after 30 years. Ooh, I like that. Just a tiny bit of blue in there. I'm not going to get it wet. Just enough to make it look like this, whatever this was in her world. I don't know. not quite wide enough but if I add this I'm afraid it's going to be too white and I don't ooh, have the maneuverability of this but this is kind of a white a wet texture for a little while so I'm wondering if I can go over it in a little bit of blue
not really. Hmm. I'm afraid if I move, move it, I'm going to smear it too much. pencil. No, that's not even too many different textures going on here. Maybe it needs this color blue. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. That blue right there is the same color as these blues. Fermented. Oh, I have to put my word on here. I think I'm just going to write ferment. I'm doing the wording the same on every one. And I sure hope that's how you spell ferment. That looks good. That's that's my favorite one so far. <laughs> For sure. Okay. I'm stacking these. I really should just pull them all out because my holes were not done correctly. So they're not working correctly in this binder, which is no fault of the binder. It's the operator malfunctions here. So we're gonna pull it out of here for the time being. We'll put it back. But, and I think I'm just gonna put a rubber band around it for right now. But we have this tomorrow, or we could flip. Ooh, I like that side better. Oh, wow. These are really loaves, rise, yeast, kneading, artesian that was the first one starter and then this is like a table of contents a reason why and a title or something like that so we have this to go tomorrow and what is our word for tomorrow where is my hobonichi because i wrote them all down in my hobonichi Where did I put it? I was working in it yesterday. Whoopsie. It's going to be a problem. Here it is. Okay. Alive. Ooh. That's a good one for alive. Could it be like a swamp monster? Alive. It's alive. I don't know why my brain goes to a swamp monster when you say alive. So we only have one, two, three, four, five left because then I'm going to do another project. So this will be the first month ever I think that I've done two projects. For some reason in my head they have to last the entire month. But I'm making myself go outside the box and I'm doing two this month. I made them short. my art supplies are right behind me <laughs> most of them the most commonly used ones are i really like this really like that that was so easy but when you have good paper and good starter and some a little bit of washi tape voila ferment away <laughs> i love this okay thanks for watching see you all tomorrow